Okay, so now this is skeletal problems that we may have from delivery. You guys remember that um, if we're having a vaginal delivery, the baby's head is made of five bony plates. The plates are not used. This allows the fetal brain to what? Grow, right? Also, it's physiologic because when the baby's coming out of the pelvis, those plates can override, decreasing the diameter of the head. Is that good? Yes. So that's where you get your molding. Caput succedanum or succedinum is when you have fluid all around the top of the head. Okay? And that is dependent on edema. Uh, I need a baby. Does anybody have a baby? Where's the baby? Okay. So we're going to pretend like this is the head. Okay? So this baby contracted like this, right, you guys? 120 times on bones. So do you think potentially there could be some dependent edema? Yes? Yes, of course. So you guys, that is what caput is. It's dependent edema. It's normal. It's benign. There's no problem. Okay? If I hit Carrie in the face, Carrie, again, again. did I hit you last time? Okay. I already hit her last time. So if I hit Carrie in the face really hard, boom, right? What's going to happen to her eye? Why does it swell? We ruptured the vessels in her eye, or I did. So bad. Anyway, <laughs> we ruptured the vessels in her eye, plasma dumped out into her tissue, right? Until, until we coagulate. And red bilirubin, red blood cells, dug out, but I broke those red blood cells with the trauma and the injury. Right, you guys? So why am I going to put a piece of steak on it? Cold. Because what do I do when I put something cold on her eye that has that trauma? I'm going to vaso, and I'm going to stop it from dumping out. Now, why is, is Carrie's whole face swollen? No, it's only at the local injury site. Also, you guys, what color is Carrie's eye going to be in the next couple of days? It's going to be black now because of all the red blood cells that are so close. But it's going to turn what color? Yellow. Why yellow, bros? Yeah. Is that normal? Is that the hematoma that happens in the It is not normal. So a cephalic hematoma is a localized injury. It is not ever normal. It's an injury. It is an injury. A cephalic hematoma is not on both sides. It's on one side. Okay? It's an injury. <coughs> and we talked about hip dysplasia. If the baby is in an abnormal presentation, such as breach, Tell me what hormones make your, your, makes your ligaments relax, it's relaxing. It goes to the baby. This is why on square window, what can we do? All the way down because of the relaxing and the loose ligaments here, okay? So you guys, that goes to the baby's hips. So if the baby's in a malposition and contracting on the baby's hips abnormally, we can have a congenital hip dysplasia. Um, a fractured clavicle, if we have a very traumatic, difficult delivery, remember the head should be what? Two centimeters, centimeters bigger, bigger than the yes. chest. So you guys, when the head delivers, we're like, yippee, life's good, except for big babies. And big babies, their chest is as big as their head, so they don't slide out like they should because their chest should be two centimeters smaller, right? So now we can get the head out and get the shoulders trapped, which is very dangerous, very serious. It's called the shoulder dystocia. We're going to do maneuvers with this in our simulation labs. But you guys, you can get a fractured clavicle from that delivery. Okay? Maybe you can get a fractured clavicle. Um, newborn reflexes, you guys all review these first half with Miss um, Ms. White. Ms. White. And then um, we want to be on, uh, be looking for neuromuscular problems. Skeletal, we talked about molding. Is it normal? How do you fix it? Put a hat on and moves. Here's your cephalic hematoma. Remember, it's a localized injury. And here's your cap. It crosses the bones. Do you guys see that? Here's your cap. It flew it all over the head. Here's your cephalic hematoma. Is it on one side? Yes. Here is a breach delivery that could result in a congenital hip dysplasia because it kept contracting down, contracting down, 
And that's what we get when the baby comes out from all those contractions. And that can cause, um, you know, a dislocated hip. Evaluation of hip, we, are, we talk about this in Sim Lab. We make sure the gluteal folds are even. We make sure the knee height is even. You can see how these gluteal folds are uneven. See them here? This one doesn't have, and these are, because this trochanter is out of the pelvic socket. You can see that right here. You can see the knee heights are different. It's because this leg is out of the, the socket. It's lower than the other. And then this is Bordelani's maneuver. There's your fractured clavicle. Dudes, can you all stop talking? Um, this is your fractured clavicle, and you're just going to feel a bump when you assess it. Okay? Okay, and stop. <laughs>